Hi there, this is Hacker2K from Furious Team. In this tutorial I'm going to present you how to flash repair Alcatel One Touch Pop Astro. As usual we have here uh, one uh, sample. As you can see it powers on but it could uh, very well uh, not power on at all. In this tutorial I'm planning to show you how to flash it. It's very important that in case you get any errors in the connection to power on or power off the phone if this phone still works, if not uh, simply uh, reattach the battery without the USB cable being connected. So in order to connect this phone I'm going to use OtisMart from um, Pack 6 of Furious Gold. The phone has to be powered off and uh, we connect it to the USB cable when the software is looking for it. So uh, let's select uh, the model from the models list. One touch Astro Pop, only as known as OT5042T. I'm going to check uh, right factory firmware. We select the flash file that we got from the support area. We press connect. And uh, now I'm going to simply attach the USB to the powered off phone. Phone got detected. Initialization takes a while, so in case it takes more than 10 seconds, don't worry. Wait until you get an error or a, a successful connection. As you can see, the software is showing us uh, the hardware uh, info, including the OTP email and the provider ID. So the flashing process started. As you can see, the software uh, is running on Windows 10, so uh, there are no problems running our soft uh, on the latest uh, Windows builds. There were some people claiming that the software is not working on Windows 8 or Windows 10, but probably they have uh, problems uh, installing the drivers from the support area. So that's why I decided to make all the new tutorials on the latest Windows versions. As you can see, the flashing process started. It shouldn't take too much for the process to complete. You can see the image the same with the one shown by the software. Okay, so the flashing process ended. 
only three minutes to rewrite fully the software of this phone and now uh, you should wait uh, until the phone uh, starts this if the battery is charged enough charged enough so uh, we simply remove the USB cable right now we power on the phone It's going to take a while to initialize after the flashing, around one or two minutes. While doing this, uh, it will appear to be hanged on the T Mobile logo, but don't worry, simply wait. As you can see, the phone started perfectly. We are in the configuration screen. We can uh, skip all. It is showing that the device is locked. So it's starting OK. So that was all, thanks for watching this tutorial, bye bye.